What's up YouTube? It's your boy Smug Panda and uh, today we're going to be going through a quick tutorial on how to set up the HD60S. I noticed that there's a lot of videos out there that show uh, a lot of the HD60, but today we're going to be going through a quick tutorial on how to set up the HD60S. So, we're going to first thing we're going to want to do once we do have the uh, device, we're going to want to go on to Elgato Gaming. And a uh, funny story is uh, the first time I tried downloading the right software for it, I accidentally hit the, uh, let's see it here, let's click on downloads once you get onto this page, and uh, I accidentally downloaded the Stream Deck for Windows, so yeah. Alright, so game capture for Windows, you just want to hit download, and uh, once you get that downloaded, um, you'll be able to have that on your shortcut on, on your desktop and you just want to go ahead and double click on that and alright so this is the uh, HD60S that you see right here what you're gonna want to do is plug in so you're gonna need two HDMI cables and one USB you included in the packaging is gonna be one HDMI and one USB so let's see what you want to do is, uh, with one of the HDMI's, plug it into your HDMI port on your television, and then um, with the other, with the second HDMI cable, you're going to want to plug it into your PlayStation, and then from there, what you're going to want to do is. You're going to want to get the one from your television, the HDMI cable from your television, and plug it into HDMI out, like so. And then with the second HDMI cable that you see here, you're going to want to plug it into the HDMI in on your HD60S. And once you do that, you're going to want to plug the end of your HDMI in cable so for the second HDMI cable you're going to want to plug this into the back of your PlayStation and last but not least under the in on the HD60S you're going to want to plug it in to your uh, you're going to want to plug in your USB and all you need is a uh, USB 3.0 port and just plug that sucker in on your laptop you should hear a little What's up guys? Now that we have downloaded the Game Capture HD software, we're just going to want to double click on that. And once it pulls up, your screen should be looking something like this. Okay. And uh, you should be. So, what you want to do, which is pretty important, this is going to be whether it's for your PlayStation or for your uh, Xbox. You want to go under your settings, scroll down to system, and uh, you want to make sure that this box is not checked. Enable HDCP, make sure it's not checked. So when it's unchecked, your screen will flash black and then it'll pop back up and it'll look something like this. So let's just say you are like you've already uh, unchecked the box and your television screen is still black a trick that normally works pretty well for me is I'll actually unplug the USB that I put into my computer so this is what's gonna happen then I just plug it back in give it a few minutes to think and there we are 
So that that little red box that was there earlier that said HDCP, it's no longer there. My television is up and running, and uh, that goes the same for my computer screen. So you'll kind of be able to see everything that you're doing through your computer and through your television. So what I'm going to do for my next video for you guys is uh, I'm going to show you guys how to, um, you know, kind of edit your scene and really customize your overall experience and uh, kind of give you a brief tutorial on, you know, live stream and game audio and live commentary. So uh, on this next video, you can expect to kind of learn how to, you know, you can add your own images, you can add your text, you can customize your scenery. It's really cool. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you guys have any questions or any comments, just uh, leave that below and uh, I'll talk to you guys again real soon. Panda out.